Good morning. It's wonderful to be sharing worship with your congregation this morning from the shores of Lake Huron here at Camp Kintail. You can hear the waves behind me and the sun is shining. Camp Kintail is the Presbyterian camp for the Synod of Southwestern Ontario. And while we're not open to the public right now, we're still working and worshiping in this holy place. Throughout the year, we gather in this chapel, made holy by laughter, tears, prayers, promises, and song. In this place, we use our whole bodies to worship God. Please feel free to join in with the actions to the songs and the prayers and the activities during the reflection time. You'll need a piece of paper and something to draw with, markers or a pen. I would like to thank the Kintail staff and alumni who made this worship come together. Their gifts are outstanding and the camp is fortunate to have so many talented, faithful friends. We also want to share with you the Kintail Salter Project, bringing together Presbyterians in the middle of this pandemic. Please take a moment to watch this announcement. Hi everyone, we're so excited to announce something new happening at Camp Kintail. It's called the Kintail Salter Project. What's a Psalter, you ask? It's just a fancy name for a book of Psalms. The idea is, even though we can't be together in person these days, we are connected by our love for God, our participation in the body of Christ, and by scripture. We're hoping that this project can serve as a reminder of that connection as we go through this pandemic together. That's why we're asking everyone, campers, staff, alumni, church members, WMS members, clergy, and friends, to consider sending us a handwritten copy of a psalm to be included in our Camp Kintail Psalter. For more information on the project and to read the submission guidelines, visit www.campkintail.ca slash Psalter. That's www.campkintail.ca slash Psalter. Thanks so much. We're so looking forward to receiving your submission to the project. We cannot wait to begin receiving your handwritten psalms. There is more information on our website, so please go there to participate. We pray that this morning will be a chance to reflect on our place in the body of Christ and to celebrate God's goodness together, even though we are apart. We acknowledge with gratitude the traditional territory upon which we live, work, and play at Camp Kintail. We are on the traditional territory of the Saugeen First Nation. Treaty 45 and a half of 1836 covers the area of Camp Kintail. We acknowledge this territory's significance for the indigenous peoples who lived and continue to live upon it and whose practices and spiritualities were tied to the land and continue to develop in relationship to the territory's occupants. We acknowledge that the Presbyterian Church in Canada was a part of the residential school system. Along with the church, all of us at Camp Kintel seek a new relationship with the First Nations of this land, one based in honor and deep respect. Our first song today is A Place in the Choir. Now there's a few actions for this that Zucchini will teach you quickly. So there's a point in the chorus that goes, and some just clap their hands, show up your hands, pause, and pause, and fins, and claws, or anything they got now. So when you put it all together, it goes, and some just clap their hands, or paws, or fins, or claws, or anything they got now. Wonderful. All God's prayers have a place in the choir. Some sing low, and some sing high. Some sing aloud on a telephone line. Some just clap their hands, or paws, or fins, or claws, or anything they got now. Listen to the place. There's a place in the choir, some sing low and some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone choir. Some just clap their hands or paws, pins or claws or anything we got now. Or anything we got. 
have a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud and it's out Some just clap their hands or pies or fins or claws or anything they got down. Please repeat after me. It is a great day. It, it is, is a great, great day for being alive. For being alive. Alive in the Lord. Alive in the Lord. The Lord who loves us. The Lord who loves us. The Lord who forgives us. The Lord who forgives us. And the Lord who welcomes us home. And the Lord who welcomes us home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All men and all men. All men and all men. Our next song is a really fun one called Clapping Our Hands. Now this one works best if you stand up and there's some full body actions to do. So the first one is clapping our hands. Next one is stomping our feet. Next one is raising our hands. Finally, we do all three at the same time. Oh boy. You ready? All right. I'm ready. Here we go. Clapping our hands, we sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, clapping our hands, clapping our hands, we sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, clapping our hands, hallelujah, 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 clapping our hands, hallelujah, 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 clapping our hands, stomping our feet. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, stomping our feet, stomping our feet, we sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, stomping our feet. Hallelujah, 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 stomping our feet. Hallelujah, 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 stomping our feet. Raising our hands, we sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Raising our hands, raising our hands, we sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Raising our hands, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Raising our hands, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, raising our hands, doing all three, we sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, doing all three, doing all three, we sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, doing all three, hallelujah, 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 doing all three, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> For this prayer, I would invite you to keep your eyes open and share in the actions. Let us pray. Lift your hands to the Lord. Stomp your feet in praise. Sway like the trees of the field. Shimmy to the beat of the earth. Clap your hands, all peoples of the earth. Thank you, God, for our bodies. Thank you, God, for Jesus. Thank you for all of us, your body on earth. We know that we do not always take care of ourselves. We do not always share in Jesus' love. We do not always take care of the world. We are sorry. Make us new again, God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 In Jesus, you are loved. You are loved. You are loved. I am loved. We are loved and forgiven. Thanks be to God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So today to pass the peace, we are going to sing a song to pass the peace. We're going to sing Peace Like a River. Now there's a few actions for this one too that Zucchini will teach you. So it's going to go, the first verse we're going to do is I've got peace like a river. And there's a little section where it says in my soul. And because puns are funny and the bottom of our feet 
are called the soles of our feet. You can point to the bottom of your foot when you say the word soul. And then, so we got peace like a river. You have love. You can put your hands over your heart like an ocean and make nice, beautiful waves. The next verse is I have joy and you make like a big smiley face and this one's kind of tricky. So you're gonna put your arms up like this, like a bursting fountain. And if you can, and if you're feeling flexible or not that flexible and feel like you wanna lift your leg like this, it's like a fountain. <laughs> That's what you can do. And then the last one is makes me love, hands over your heart again and spread your arms out wide and send a piece to everyone. Hi everyone. All right. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I got love like an ocean. I got love like an ocean in my soul. I got joy like a fountain. I got joy like a fountain. I got joy like a fountain in my soul. I got joy like a fountain. I got joy like a fountain. I got joy like a fountain in my soul. Makes me love everybody. Makes me. Today, for the responsive scripture, Hydra and I will be reading Psalm 100 from Everyday Psalms by James Taylor. Leap and dance with joy. The showers have ended and the sun has come out again. Splash through the puddles, roll in the grass. Let laughter rise in the air like flights of sparrows. This is God's world. God has made it, God made us, and it is good. We spoil it if we stare at it through sour faces. God set us free to frolic and to gamble, to celebrate the gifts of life. So dance your way down the garden. Scatter rose petals with every step. With every breath, enjoy the goodness of God. From the beginning of time, God has poured out love. God will continue loving until time stops ticking. So our next song is a really fun one called I've Got the Spirit in My Fingers. So how this is going to work is we start out with the spirit in our fingers. So you're going to wiggle, wiggle your fingers. And then we're going to move around the spirit in different parts of our bodies. And as we say a part of your body, we will be wiggling that part of your body. So may the spirit may start our fingers, may move to our hands, may move to our elbows. May kind of be all over the place. All right, let's do it. Let's see how it goes. I've got the spirit in my fingers and it's keeping me alive, keeping me alive, keeping me alive. I got the spirit in my fingers and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. I've got the spirit in my hands and it's keeping me alive, keeping me alive, keeping me alive. I got the spirit in my hands and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. I got the spirit in my elbows and it's keeping me alive. My elbows? Keeping me alive. Keeping me alive, I got the spirit in my elbows and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. Arms, you say? I got the spirit in my arms and it's keeping me alive. Keeping me alive, keeping me alive. I got the spirit in my arms and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. What about our feet? I got the spirit in my feet and it's keeping me alive, keeping me alive, 
keeping me alive. I got the spirit in my feet and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. I got the spirit in my legs and it's keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. I got the spirit in my legs and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. I got the spirit in my head and it's keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. I got the spirit in my head and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. I got the spirit all over and it's keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. Keeping me alive, I got the spirit all over and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. Woo! Oh, that's a good one. Thank you. Today's reading is from 1 Corinthians 12. Apostles like Paul stayed very busy telling as many people as possible about Jesus and his love for them. Sometimes Paul traveled to share the good news in person. Sometimes he sent letters to teach his friends more about what it meant to be Christian. Together, they were part of a new family of people who believed in Jesus. Paul wrote this message to Christians who lived in the city of Corinth. He wanted to help them understand how special the church was, including everyone in it. The church is like a human body. One body has many different parts, but it's still one body. We are many different kinds of people, but we're still one body of believers. If a foot said, because I'm not a hand, I'm not a part of this body, that would be silly. It would be still a part of the body. And if the whole body was an eye, how could it hear or smell? That's silly too. God made our bodies to have lots of parts, and each part has something special to do. God made all of our parts to work together. The body of believers is the same. God has given each of you special things to do. Some of you travel to share the news about Jesus, and some of you teach right where you live. Some of you heal the sick or become church leaders. Is everyone a teacher? Is everyone a leader? No, that would be silly too. God made us to be different and to do different things to show our love for Jesus. Just like the different parts of one body, we all have different talents and we all work together. God has made each of us very special. What does it mean to be part of the body of Christ? This is an important question during ordinary times, but an even more important one during these extraordinary times. In his letter to the Corinthians, Paul describes the body of Christ. The body of Christ now on earth is us, working together to serve God. We are all needed and all part of the body. Each of us has a role. Each of us is needed and necessary to make the whole body work. Without an eye, or a kidney, or a leg, or a thumb, the body would not be complete. All of us have a role to play, even when we think it is not that big a part. Only when everyone is contributing will the body function. We are all part of the body. We can see these days how connected we really are. No part of the body should be ignored or pushed aside. Every part matters whether in New York City, Bombay, Bob Cajun, Montreal, High River, or Italy. Every part is necessary for the whole to work the way it is supposed to. Whether they are working at an essential job, or whether they are homeless or in a long-term care home, or at home or stranded far from home. All of us together make up the body. All of us are important. We reminded our campers of this last summer when we studied this scripture. Campers were invited to consider what part of the body they might be and how they contribute to the whole. We spent time asking, what part of the body are you? Are you an arm always willing to help? Are you a brain always coming up with new ideas? Are you a liver functioning out junk and keeping things moving? 
Are you a head of hair, making life beautiful? In this time of crisis, we are seeing parts of the body we are not used to seeing. Nurses are hearts, ready and willing to care for all of our needs. Truck drivers are the blood, moving things where they need to go. Journalists are elbows, working to get at the truth. Farmers are feet, firmly rooted to the earth. All of us are part of the body. All of us are needed. So now I would invite you to take the piece of paper and the markers that you have and to draw a rough outline of the body. You do not need to be an artist and it doesn't need to be perfect. Only you will see this. After you draw your body, consider what part of the body you think you are. Then once you've considered that, take a few moments to add other names to your body. Add the names of community helpers, frontline healthcare staff, political leaders, public health officials, and grocery store clerks. Write their names. Give thanks for their support of the body and ask God to be with them in their work. Then add the names of your loved ones, your family, your friends, your neighbors, your church community. Give thanks for them and ask for God's protection. And then leave some spaces for those whose names we do not know, but who are known to God. Ask for God to be with them and that we may support them as fellow members of the body. Take some time to do this exercise, pause this video, and go ahead and create and add all of those names of those people you know and who you do not know who make up the body of Christ. Or you can continue to watch as Hydra creates a body that celebrates the body of Christ. Look at the body you have drawn. Consider the many others who have drawn pictures of the body of Christ this morning and all the ways in which we are connected to one another. Together, we are the body of Christ, each part needed and necessary for the movement of the whole. Last summer, as the campers studied the scripture, they also learned the word Ubuntu. It is a Bantu word from South Africa that means, I am because we are. Ubuntu, I am because we are. This word was used in South Africa after apartheid, when various groups of people who had been separate were now learning to live and work beside one another. Ubuntu can also apply to us here now, in this time when we are separated but yet still learning to live together. We are all connected. We are held together in our common humanity and in our common need. All of us, campers and firefighters, retirees and paramedics, parents and teachers and nurses and hydro workers and farmers, we are all part of the family of God, part of the body of Christ. We are all included. We are all loved. We are all necessary. In extraordinary and ordinary times alike, we are not alone. We are part of the body of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. 
Our final song today is the servant song. Let us pray. We know and experience that every body is different. Some find some things easier. Some bodies used to do things they cannot now do. Some find different ways when one part of the body needs more help. We celebrate all of this and know that one body can help another. And that is beautiful. We give you thanks for our hands. We can squeeze, we can paint, we can write, and we can soothe. We give you thanks for our legs. They run and anchor and walk and provide strength. We give you thanks for our feet. They kick and play and stretch and move. We give you thanks for our eyes. They see and perceive and blink and cry. We give you thanks for our brains. They think, plan, and react and love. We give you thanks for our mouths. They talk and sing and sigh and kiss. We give you thanks for our tongues. They taste and delight and make noise. We give you thanks for our stomach, our lungs, our hearts, and our liver that allow us to live and enjoy life. We give you thanks for our bodies, for they bring us to you and to our families and loved ones and have carried us this far. We pray for the bodies of our neighbors and friends, for those who are sick and hurting, for those who are dying, for those who do not love their minds and bodies, for those who are worried about loved ones, for those who are losing strength, and for those who are using their bodies to care for others. We pray for the bodies of those who are most vulnerable, for those who are hungry, for those who are being hurt, for those who are caught in war and conflict, for those who need to know they are not alone, for those who need to grow. This morning we pray for all those gathered, for this community, for this body of Christ, for our friends and neighbors, and for the campers and staff at Kinta. Oh God, may we give thanks with our whole bodies. May we serve our world with our whole bodies. May we become Christ's body on earth. In his holy and precious name, amen. With these fragile and beautiful bodies of ours, may we bless as we have been blessed, love as we have been loved, forgive as we have been forgiven, and live with joy in the risen Christ. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you both now and forevermore. Amen. To end our time together, we are going to have a blessing. 
So um, if you take everyone in your household, have them all together, if you're by yourself, we'd love for you to clap and be blessed upon with us. So how this is gonna work is I'm gonna start, we're gonna be singing a song, I will get to in a second, and I'm gonna put my hands above uh, Crash's hands or your partner's hands. He's gonna put his hands out flat like this. And then we're gonna sing the song one time through. So the blessings of the Lord be upon you. I will bless you in the name of the Lord. And then we're gonna flip. So I'm gonna put my hands under, Crash is gonna put his hand above. And then we're gonna finish off that song. The blessings of the Lord be upon you. I will bless you in the name of the Lord. And what you can do at that point, if you have more people, you can turn around, pretend we have more people here, and you can bless these people. You can go around. If you're by yourself and you want to make it a little bit more creative, you can start clapping here. You could go, the blessings of the Lord be upon you. You could do, the blessings of the Lord be upon you. Um, wherever it is, you can do different body parts. You can get creative. Or you can just listen along. Listen and sing along. Whatever you like to do. All right, now we're ready to go. The, the blessings of the Lord be upon you. I will bless you in the name of the Lord. Switch. The blessing of the Lord be upon you. I will bless you in the name of the Lord. So get your next person if you have a next person. I'm going to pretend you the blessings of the Lord be upon you. I will bless you in the name of the Lord. The blessings of the Lord be upon you. I will bless you in the name of the Lord. Get your next person if you have your next person. The blessings of the Lord be upon you. I will bless you in the name of the Lord. The blessings of the Lord be upon you. I will bless you in the name of the Lord. Get your next person. The blessings of the Lord be upon you. I will bless you in the name of the Lord. The blessings of the Lord be upon you. I will bless you in the name of the Lord. Let's do one more time. The, the blessings of the Lord be upon you. I will bless you in the name of the Lord. The blessings of the Lord be upon you. I will bless you in the name of the Lord. Blessings, everybody. Bless you all.